So I've been cleaning out my CDs and old DVDs and backing them up on a hard drive, which is really interesting because years ago I had everything on hard drives and I thought the way to go is to back up everything on CDRs. So anyway, that's what I did, DVDs, CDRs, and now I'm realizing that that was the mistake, a mistake, and that I should... Um, have everything on hard drives so plus I have a whole file cabinet I mean I have a whole file cabinet full of DVDs and so now I'm going through them one by one alright so I'm in the process I find 20 year old pieces of art and I uh, don't even have the programs anymore they just continued programs like Micrographics Designer and Arts and Letters by Computer Support Corporation and gosh, Freehand, a whole bunch of different ones. So I've been bringing the DVDs in and dumping them on the, on the hard drive. And I said, gee, it'd be nice to be able to see what these files are. So I went searching around the internet and I found that FileView Pro would be able to open the old GED files by Arts and Letters. And I even talked to their, well, emailed their tech technician a couple times because there's a couple different GED files or programs that use that extension. Go figure. Anyway, I saw it in their, in their specs that it opens the files. And so then just to verify, I, went through tech support and the guy says yeah yeah we, you know we 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 opened gd probably looked on the same list that i did anyway so just to just to make sure i went back to him again i says i said this is arts and letters ged and and are you sure this open oh yeah no problem so i bought it and as you see there it is i bought it today file view pro gold edition the best that they had and now I uh, I went the very first thing of course was the GED files so let me look at this and go back here to GED files I'm here some and there's well let's see one of my old clients okay so here it is GED drag and drop there it is and that's what you get all this gibberish so close that try another file just so you can see that it's same thing and on top of that it doesn't open GD files nor does it open let's go to well AI files and open a check I think it will open tips. It'll open Photoshop. Here, here we go. Here, here's an AI our Illustrator. Mm -hmm. Same thing. That is an Adobe Illustrator file. And look what you get. Okay, let's go to an EPS. There's an EPS file. Same thing. So that's just um, three or four extensions that they're supposed to be able to open with this program and it doesn't so obviously I was pretty upset and disappointed and I have asked for a refund and um, of course tech support takes a couple of days to get back to you so fortunately it's not a big hit but it's you know it's 30 30 40 bucks so before you spend your money on a program um, called uh, File View Pro. Make sure that you, uh, well, put it this way your browser can open JPEGs, your browser can open GIFs, um, GIFs, however you pronounce it. Your browser can open a lot of different supported formats, but um, this thing can't. So 
to me, it's it's worthless. And uh, again, I'm really disappointed. So save your money, and um, I don't have any other options for you. I'm still looking, other than I still have the old program, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if there's any way I can run it on a Windows 10 machine. Probably not, but I have some old hard drives that have um, different versions of Windows. I think I've got an XP and a 2000. I'm not sure if I've got a 95 or a 98, but it's possible. I've been in this thing a long time, so I'll just see if, uh, if that's the way to go and, and if I could load it on some other computer, an old hard drive, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, for now, um, save your money, FileView Pro, it does not do what it says it's going to do.